All right, Amusement Insiders, picture this. The year is 2039, and Canada's Wonderland has had an impressive 15 years of investment, expansion, and very strategic moves in order to get the park to where they want to be when it comes to being a Disney or Universal level of theme park, a truly international attraction for the Toronto area. You're wondering, how did this happen? And lucky for you, our wonderful Grace, or whoever ends up in her position in 2039, because, you know, I'm not trying to plan Grace's life for her, (laughs) but somebody will be in that role. And that person gets up in front of, hopefully, Brendan's camera, and they do an interview. And in that interview, they explain, we actually did an experiment starting back in the year 2023, where we had AI set up a really solid 15-year plan for us, and we have followed that plan, and it has led us to the success that we're seeing today. How would that make you feel? Let's talk about it. All right, so welcome to another episode of whatever this is. Today we are here to speculate about what AI could do as far as predicting and or helping to plan Canada's Wonderland's future investments. Um, What sparked my imagination to even create this video was recently when we had all of those drops come from Canada's Wonderland from the survey to the mock-up designs for potential future investments. Um, I was doing a little bit of speculating on the different teasers that we've seen and stuff, and one of the ways um, that I have strategically done my speculation more recently has been to use AI. I will ask ChatGPT some things that I feel like it's easier to ask ChatGPT than to Google and do research for myself, so I'll kind of use that as a jumping off point and then, you know, double check and confirm the things that it gives me. Um, Or sometimes if I'm a little bit low on ideas, it's a really good way to help you sort of spark your imagination and give you some ideas. And again, uh, I never use ChatGPT as like a a sort of solution for anything, but it is a really good way to get a jumping off point for a lot of different things. So this got me thinking, hmm, I wonder what AI would suggest as far as our coming expansions and investments go. So I've done a little bit of brainstorming with ChatGPT. We spent some time together (laughs) and I gave it some very specific parameters. I realized after a little bit of experimentation that ChatGPT, when it comes to these types of thought experiments, it needs a very strict and specific framework. (laughs) So I spent some time figuring out exactly the right prompt to put together for it. I gave it some interesting guidelines and it gave me some interesting responses. So I want to share those with you. And let's just have a little conversation about like what ChatGPT would do for Wonderland and what you think about that. (laughs) Let's get into it. All right. So what kind of guidelines did I give ChatGPT? Well, first I told it exactly whose perspective I wanted it to think from. So I wanted to think from the decision makers at both Canada's Wonderland and Cedar Fair's perspective. I don't want ChatGPT to think as itself necessarily. I wanted it to look at Wonderland. I gave it some information on Wonderland um, and what its goals are, you know, because Grace has recently told us that Wonderland does want to be more of a theme park. So I also told it that that is something that's in their perspective and in their goals, their wants uh, for the future of the park. So I gave it a little bit of background like that so that it wasn't kind of just giving me very general answers. I wanted it to be specific to Wonderland. So just know that that's sort of the framework that we're working with. I told it exactly what type of positions would have that type of decision-making power. And I told it some of the um, insights that we have as far as the park's future goals for being a destination theme park for families. Um, And yeah, Uh, let's jump into what it told me after I started asking it questions from that perspective. So I started out really general just to test it out and make sure that it was, or it seemed anyways, to be speaking from the perspective that I really wanted it to. Again, I got very specific. I wanted to make sure I was getting legitimate sounding answers. (laughs) So I started out by asking ChatGPT, what would be your short-term priorities and long-term priorities for Canada's Wonderland given 
um, sort of the perspective and the background that I gave it. So it gave me three short-term priorities. First, enhancing the, en well, first, <laughs> enhancing existing themed areas. So focus on completing and refining the existing themed areas, such as Frontier Canada, by adding immersive experiences, live entertainment, and themed dining options. Then second, investing in high demand attractions. So identify popular ride types or experiences that are currently lacking in the park and prioritize their addition to cater to guest preferences. And then third, improving guest amenities. So allocating resources to improving guest amenities like food options, restrooms, and seating areas to enhance the overall park experience. So those are its top three short-term priorities. All right, so then I asked it for some long-term priorities and it gave me four of those. So first, expanding themed areas. Develop additional immersive and distinct themed areas to enhance the park's storytelling and create unique guest experiences. Second, signature attractions. Plan for the introduction of iconic marquee attractions that will draw attention and create a buzz, helping to establish Canada's Wonderland as a destination park. Third, interactive and technology-driven experiences. Incorporate interactive elements, augmented reality, or virtual reality experiences to engage guests and provide cutting-edge entertainment. And fourth, diversifying offerings. Consider adding non-ride attractions such as live shows, interactive exhibits, or themed shopping areas to provide a well-rounded entertainment experience. So to me, that actually sounds like a really well-rounded short-term and long-term strategy mix. But share with me what your thoughts are in the comments. Is that aligned with what you would do if you were in one of these types of director sort of decision maker positions? Um, and if your decisions would be different, how so? Then I asked, how should we allocate the budget to achieve the park's goal of becoming a Disney or Universal level theme park? It said, Budget allocation should be strategic and consider the following aspects. First, themed areas. Allocate a significant portion of the budget to develop and enhance themed areas. This includes investment in detailed theming, immersive environments, and high quality props and set pieces. Second, signature attractions. Set aside a substantial portion of the budget to develop high profile world class attractions that will serve as flagship experiences for the park. Third, guest experience enhancements. Allocate funds to improve guest amenities. And I know <laughs> that some guests have already started asking for that, and I did not even tell ChatGPT that, and somehow it knew. <laughs> All right, fourth, marketing and promotion. Dedicate a portion of the budget to targeted marketing campaigns, partnerships, and collaborations to increase brand awareness and attract a wider audience. And then fifth, Research and development. Allocate resources for ongoing research and development to stay updated with industry trends, technological advancements, and guest preferences, ensuring that the park remains innovative and competitive. By considering these factors and prioritizing investments, Canada's Wonderland can make strategic decisions to progress towards its goal of becoming a renowned theme park. That's all fairly standard. I think it gave fairly good answers as far as what would be reasonable and expected um, from somebody in that kind of decision-making position if they wanted to strategically move the park towards being like a Disney level theme park. So I got, I felt at this point that I had confirmed what I wanted to confirm, which was that my framework that I provided ChatGPT was working. It was speaking from the perspective I wanted it to be speaking from. <laughs> so I was like, all right, let's have some fun now. So from there, I asked, from that perspective, what are the next roller coaster and or flat ride and or themed changes and or food locations would you add to Canada's Wonderland and where? Please be specific about ride type and manufacturer if suggesting rides. Now, I thought it was just going to tell me what would come first, but it actually gave me an option for each of the following. It seemed to understand my question, which is fine. I... I could have narrowed it down, but I liked the options that it gave me <laughs> for reasons, which we'll get into in a second. <laughs> All right, so first, it suggested a roller coaster. Introduce a thrilling and innovative roller coaster to enhance the park's coaster lineup and attract thrill-seeking guests. 
One potential option could be a record-breaking launched coaster manufactured by Intamin or Mack Rides. This coaster could feature multiple inversions, high speeds, and unique elements to provide an adrenaline pumping experience. So this is where I started to crack up because if you guys have been watching the channel for a minute, you will know that myself and more especially Brendan has been advocating for a launched <laughs> ride like an Intamin or a Mach for ever. <laughs> Not forever, but like definitely since Yukon Striker. It's been like, okay, what's next? Here's what we really need next. And those have kind of been the top two that come to mind for Brendan especially. He said it in so many videos. He said it in predictions. He said it in podcasts. He has said it time and time again. And so I thought it was so funny that I put ChatGPT in this perspective and it was giving me really solid answers and really like, you know, legit answers. And then I asked this question, what should be the next coaster? And that is the first thing that comes to mind. And this is after I told ChatGPT what our whole lineup is. So it knows that we have a bunch of BNMs. It did not suggest another BNM. It suggested an Intamin or a Mach. Moving on, I think I've made my point, but make yours in the comments down below. Let me know what you think of that. Do you agree with ChatGPT or do you agree with what Wonderland seems to be coming out with next with the B&M flying launched whatever it is, wings launch wing mountain thing? Let me know. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> All right, so the next suggestion that ChatGPT gave me was for a flat ride. Now, ChatGPT seems to be struggling with the flat rides. I don't know if flat rides just don't have really good websites for it to troll, but it keeps suggesting things that are like same, same to what we already have. So it was suggesting Huss or Cam G type rides like Giant Frisbee or something like Afterburner. And I was like, wait a second, we have that. Give me another suggestion. <laughs> So, and it, it seemed to get confused a few times on what exactly counts as a flat ride. So here are the replacement suggestions that it gave me. Um, and this had me cracking up as well, because as soon as I was like, okay, none of those spinning things, give me something else. Guess what its first suggestion was? Brendan is going to die when he watches this. <laughs> Our expert park director, decision maker, ChatGPT, suggested, drum roll please, a flying theater. <laughs> ChatGPT says, introduce a flying theater attraction such as Fly Over America by Brogen Technologies or Soarin by Dynamic Attractions. This immersive experience combines a large domed screen with suspended seats that simulate a flying sensation. Guests would be taken on a breathtaking journey over iconic Canadian landscapes, offering a unique perspective and showcasing the country's natural beauty. Now, we know that Wonderland doesn't want to do things that are existing, you know, in like a nearby drivable location. So last I heard, there was some kind of flying fancy theater thing going up somewhere. And that's why we've kind of seen the plan for action theaters revamp drop off. But <laughs> I just think it's funny that what Brennan has been saying and suggesting for like, I'm pretty sure years now is the same thing that ChatGPT would suggest. And I will also say I didn't give chat, I didn't go so far as telling ChatGPT, like don't suggest anything that's within the Toronto or like Southern Ontario area, because I, I just felt like I was already kind of restricting it a lot and it already only has access to so much information. So I left that part B, but just thought it was funny that, you know, Brennan has been suggesting this for so long and ChatGPT was like, yeah, I mean, if we already have the spinner, then a flying theater is clearly what the park needs. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I just thought that was super funny. Now, I then asked it for another option because I was like, mm, flying theater doesn't seem so likely. Um, give me one more option. And this is where I think it was a little confused on what counts as a flat ride. But tell me if you think this counts as a flat ride. ChatGPT's Chat GPT next suggestion was a water coaster. Now, I really like this suggestion. <laughs> Not sure if it counts as a flat ride, but um, it was suggesting a water coaster and it likes Mammoth by Pro Slide or Jungle Racers by Whitewater West. 
Um, the hybrid ride combines elements of a water slide with the thrill of a coaster. Guests would board rafts that navigate a track featuring drops, turns, and uphill sections, providing a thrilling combination of water splashes and coaster-like excitement. The addition of a water coaster would offer a refreshing and exhilarating experience, particularly during hot summer months. Um, I know there is like some, you know, debate on what counts as a coaster and what doesn't, but like, do, does a water coaster really count as a flat ride or is it closer to like a slide? I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> so those were its suggestions. I didn't make it keep going and going and going because I was like, I don't really know what flat ride would be perfect for Wonderland either. They, I think they're more likely to order something never before seen, but take that, you know, with however much salt you want to. Um, I just really wanted to share that because I thought it's suggesting what Brendan has been saying for several months was really funny. <laughs> so on to the next. <laughs> Chat GPT's suggestion for themed changes for um, what are the next theme changes that it would make to the park as the decision maker. ChatGPT would expand the existing Frontier Canada themed area, which aligns with the park's strategy of emphasizing immersive theming. Enhance the area by adding a western style dark ride, where guests can embark on a journey through captivating storyline filled with animatronics and special effects. This dark ride could be developed in collaboration with a renowned manufacturer like Sally Corporation to ensure an engaging and visually impressive experience. Thoughts? <laughs> um, again, we've been talking about needing a dark ride for a long time um, and how we kind of were hoping to get some kind of combination roller coaster dark ride with Guardians, uh, but most of us are pretty disappointed with Guardians. So again, just thought this was a very poignant suggestion from Chad GPT. <laughs> Let's leave it at that and move on. So finally, food locations. What would Chad GPT do next when it comes to food locations? This is where, you guys thought ChatGPT had me dying before this. This is where ChatGPT like fully creeped me out. So you guys know, I want to say a few weeks ago now, Brendan shared a video on Instagram. Not a video. It was photos on Instagram of an old dining location. Technically, it still exists, but not as it did during the time uh, from which he shared this photo. Anyways, I'm, gonna st I'm not making sense. I'm going to put the photo up here. This food location, just keep this in mind for one second, okay? It was called Ginza Gardens, I believe, for a while anyways. It had a few different names, but I'm pretty sure Gin Ginza Gardens is what it was called. I'll, I'll put text here if, it, if I'm wrong on that. But um, as you guys know, I'm not scripting these videos, except, I mean, kind of this one because ChatGPT did it for me, but um, I'm not like double checking that. So if I'm wrong, editing Jasmine will just put the text on the screen, but I'm pretty sure it was called Ginza Gardens. Uh, and it was a Chinese themed food location. I believe it was full service. Uh, it was in what used to be the China part of Grand World Exposition, uh, back when that was like a fully themed area. So anyways, remember ChatGPT was giving me answers to um, what would be its next edition in a number of different categories? Ride, uh, roller coaster, flat ride, retheming, etc., etc. Um, now we get to food location. So just just keep Ginza Gardens in mind for a second. ChatGPT says it would introduce an exotic dining experience that complements the China area of Grand World Exposition. Consider a vibrant traditional Chinese tea house with a serene garden setting and both indoor and outdoor seating options. The menu could showcase a variety of authentic Chinese teas and delectable dim sum along with other regional specialties. Guests can immerse themselves in the rich culture and ambiance of China while savoring the flavors of the East. Additionally, incorporating traditional Chinese music or cultural performances could further enhance the authenticity of this unique dining location. Wonderland. Even ChatGPT is trying to tell you to bring back Ginza Gardens. Thank you very much. <laughs> Moving on. So at this point, 
I basically realized that I was talking to the robot version of me and Brendan. And I was like, we need to have a longer conversation. So you guys are going to see the rest of that conversation in the next, I guess, two, two, let's do two videos. So it'll be a little trio of chat GPT videos. Uh, so stay tuned. And the next one is coming soon. And I promise it, this, where I left off is leading us into the next video. So stay tuned. Maybe have some fun with chat GPT yourself while you're waiting for it to come out. I don't know. Do whatever you want, but I will see you in the next one. <laughs> Hey, Michigan! When in Toronto, discover Canada's Wonderland, the country's premier theme park. Canada's Wonderland! Experience the outstanding excitement of the new Skyrider. Shoot the rapids of Whitewater Canyon. Meet the Smurfs in their own forest. Watch lavish all-new Broadway-style shows. To save on park admission, accommodation, and more, pick up our free vacation savings package at participating Chatham stores in Greater Detroit. Canada's Wonderland, just north of Toronto.